John Irvin, the Director of Admissions. This is my 25th year at St. Peter's. My name is Mike Fernandez, and I'm a senior here at St. Peter's Prep. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. My name is Nugent Smith, and I am a six-year faculty in the Fine and Performing Arts Department here at St. Peter's Prep. Uh, my name is Jake Marsnack. I am a senior here at St. Peter's Prep, and I live in Harrison. Hi, uh, my name is Kieran Freeman. I'm a senior here at St. Peter's Prep. I come from Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. How you doing? My name is Andre Bellamy. I'm a maintenance worker here at St. Peter's Prep. I've been here since 2009, and I'm here to tell you about a little bit of the prep experience. My name is Brooke Simonson. I am a freshman and sophomore English teacher at St. Peter's Prep. Hello, my name is Steven Martinez. I'm currently a senior, and I'm from Fairview, New Jersey. My name is Anthony Keating and I'm a faculty member here at St. Peter's. Um, I also moderate student council and the mock trial team. I think one of the things we do so well here at St. Peter's Prep, uh, because of our amazing campus ministry team, and because we're surrounded by Jesuits, we're fortunate to have a lot of Jesuits here on staff who inspire us, is that we very intentionally and in a very structured way walk the students through an Ignatian way from freshman year all the way to senior year. So I see uh, the Jesuits uh, and their philosophies and things like that through a lot of what we do at PrEP, especially through the service. I've been able to go to Bethel, Alaska on a service trip as well as Huntington, West Virginia with Habitat for Humanity to work with the poor and to uh, do service. And that's something that's really changed uh, who I am as a person and it's made uh, PrEP a different place for me. I went with a couple of other kids to Bethel, Alaska. This was, um, for me, one of the single greatest experiences that I have had at PrEP. Uh, what could I say? Um, it's like a big community here. We are, seem to be like all family. No matter where you go, there's always somebody that's giving you a helping hand. Somebody's here to greet you. Somebody to make sure that everything's all right with you. From my first day I set foot on this campus, I was greeted by every single person I came in contact with and welcome to the school. I think it all begins for me at PrEP. I think the greatest um, uh, sense of mission and purpose in education and my studies and my learning and growing as a person began at St. Peter's without question. And I think that whatever I picked up in college and law school would not have been as rich if I hadn't had had the foundation at St. Peter's. What makes St. Peter's Prep Jesuit for me is um, the, the lesson that I learned at one of the retreats that the faculty went to a few years ago. And that lesson was to treat each student as the most important student in the entire school when you're working with them one-on-one. -on -one. And I've used that as my motto, my way of um, approaching one-to-one -one interactions with the students. I think um, you learn from coming to prep that you can trust anybody here. That that just because somebody may have more money than you, just because somebody doesn't have as, as much money as you, doesn't make them any different. So many kids here have been through so many problems, and they have been through going through like a lot of hardships, and they really could understand you. You just have to be open to growth, and you have to learn to talk to the kids that you don't even know. I started as a freshman going on service trips with. Pax Christie where we would go into New York City and feed the homeless by making sandwich bags with drinks and clementines and things like that and a peanut butter jelly sandwich and I, I was able to go out and give that to homeless people on the streets of New York and to have that first-hand experience with the poor really opened me up to a lot of different opportunities that PrEP has given me. For me especially I think that's where it started on Ignite where I met some of my closest friends uh, and was able to really see what PrEP was all about. St. Peter's has given me a few different things. The first being the knowledge of what it is to be a well-rounded person, not just a well-rounded student. Yeah, so coming to a Jesuit high school, I've had the opportunity to really expand my faith as well through Kairos and MOS retreats. And I've really had the opportunity to reflect a lot. Reflection is a huge part of Jesuit education and something that they've really instilled upon us here at PrEP. My, I chose PrEP because I know that it can challenge me mentally and physically. And it's doing just that. Throughout the summer of football practice, we push each other on and off the field, uh, making each other better in the classroom. Uh, if somebody's struggling, we go and help them at any point in time. Um, and that's what I grew to like about this school. Like, I feel like I'm part of a big family. I also think that 
One of the other things that's really important is that applying Cure Personalis to myself. So being very in tune with popular culture, being in tune with the things that the students' um, lives revolve, revolve around. So knowing a little bit about the latest music, knowing a little bit about the latest fashion, knowing a little bit about the latest video game craze is really important in the sense that I can actually make uh, genuine connections um, with the projects that we're making in class, the conversations that we're having in class, to the things that they're really interested in. So it makes it an authentic experience and the students tend to uh, respond in a very special way when I approach it that way. So I'm very blessed to be here and I think so many of the guys that travel often an hour a day to get here and some don't leave until nine o'clock. Uh, and this place is alive, and that's what makes it very special to me. Uh, yeah, uh, last, last summer, last summer, I went on an immersion trip, uh, CDOM in West Virginia, and it was a great experience. Uh, it was almost like football related, as I get to work with a certain group of team, and just work as a team to build and help the community in West Virginia. And I think that's why a St. Peter's Prep student is very, very a responsible student, and someone who can do anything. I think they can, they can go into the business world, you know, they can go into journalism, they can go into archaeology. I teach sophomore American literature and American literature is a challenging course. We read a lot of texts that some schools have banned. Um, some of the texts are To Kill a Mockingbird, Catcher in the Rye, uh, Huck Finn, Fences, and teaching this course has been very challenging for me. Uh, it was especially challenging my first year, but I think I've grown a lot as a teacher, and I think I've grown a lot closer to my students in the challenging conversations we have in class, and I've really noticed how they've been able to embrace some difficult topics and to be able to have open conversations and to think really critically about the texts we're reading. And I really appreciate that St. Peter's Prep allows these texts in our curriculum because I think it's a great way to inspire growth and critical thought among our students and to really incite productive conversation about a lot of the topics they face on a day-to-day -day basis. For I'd say 90% of the students who ultimately register decide that St. Peter's is the school for them, that's what they'll say. That their, their time here, whether it was freshman for a day or the higher achievement program, you know, was the defining moment for them. That they just felt something different about St. Peter's than the other schools where they may have spent some time. Now what exactly is that feeling? I don't think any of us can, can describe that accurately, but for those who have been part of the prep experience, it's just, it, it really is just a, just a feeling. They can you know, authentically say that when they do leave prep, uh, that I feel that they are citizens of the world and they they understand that there's a, a world outside of themselves, a world that's bigger than they are. St. Peter's Prep students are eager and um, they want to they want to collaborate with the world. And the wonderful connections that they make here with their prep brothers is something that I think they keep forever. I think now we make so much more of a conscious effort to make sure that the words that were once just kind of phrases on a poster now now are brought to life so that guys understand Majus and Men for Others and um, Core Personalis and so that they live that instead of us just assuming that, that they understand what it is and, and you know, we'll become better people, better men because of it. Um, I think a very, very strong sense of treating young men as brothers and not as children um, brought out me and brings out in our young men um, a calling you know, and a, and a desire to respond to that. And while we're reaching for excellence all the time um, and striving, it's not empty of a real loving purpose. And I think the Holy Spirit is very alive and well at St. Peter's. Um, what truly makes it Jesuit is the idea that every student is uniquely created by a loving God um, and that by those students becoming who they most fully are, they are embodying that love and giving glory to God by doing that. And that everyone's uniqueness is a gift back to everyone else within the community. It's such a beautiful, I think, foundation to everything we do here at St. Peter's.